guys, Michael right here with James Hudson from Druid City Games, and today we're going to be talking at PAX South about Sorcerer City. So go ahead and get into what Sorcerer City is all about. Awesome. So it is from Scott Caputo, who did Whistle Stop uh, last year, and it is Carcassonne and Dominion smashed into one game. So it's like, it kind of what caught my eye when I was checking out his prototype at Gen Con last year was that it felt like a really new mechanic. Uh, and so you have the opportunity like to, uh, gotta love the show, it's like a couple more walking up on you. Uh, it, it really, you get to lay down the tiles and build your system and your engine, and then you buy new tiles to make your deck better. So it's like tile deck building, it's really cool. Uh, and so everybody who's played it has really enjoyed it so far. Yeah. This is the current prototype. Uh, is it coming out of the Kickstarter? What's, yeah. what's the, what's the so process? we're Kickstarter next month-ish. We're, we're li being a little more vague with this one. We don't have a set date. So we're trying some new stuff. But yeah, it'll be coming to Kickstarter very soon. Also, I know Grim Forest has already been funded and is on its way. What's, what's going on with that? So Grim Forest is about, from right now, about two to three weeks out from hitting retail. Uh, and backers will be getting it, obviously, before that. So really excited. Uh, we have an actual finished copy here that we are letting people uh, play. And uh, the excitement is high. It scrolls across the screen now. <laughs> Sure. Um, other things that we've got going on are we've got about eight to ten games in development at different stages. We've got a secret project that we haven't announced that's going to be after Sorcerer City that's working with, I guess I can talk about who it's with. It's Mr. The team, Mr. Cunnington, has done our art. Oh, that's awesome art work. Uh, unfair, right? That's the, that's the unfair, Santorini, uh, Steampunk Rally. Yeah, they're stupid talented. Wow, I have almost all, all those games listed. <laughs> They're, they're super talented. Their yep. art's gorgeous. And uh, and we're working with Tim and Ben Eisner on this as a design team. And it's worker placement. So honestly, do those things. A little spoiler. Little worker spoiler. placement, Cuttington, Eisner. Okay. Yep. And awesome. then I've got a big, gross, awesome game that we're working on that's uh, miniatures and dice rolling and PvP and PvE. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And that's like way down. That's a uh, maybe end of the year. Maybe end of the year. It just depends on development. Awesome. Art. And so, of all the games you've talked about so far, is there a specific one you enjoy the most? Or are they all just in the middle of something? Well, I, I can I can be honest. The Bloodstone, the, the miniature PVE PVP thing, that's my design, and it was one of my first designs. And it's been like three years in the making, so it's kind of close to my heart, you know. I'm a big, and I like chucking dice, and I like big, gross miniatures. So I don't know if we're gonna go to Cthulhu Wars level miniatures, but we're gonna have really legit. Miniatures. Peter's in games since that, and it's beautiful looking. Yeah. So they did a great job with the miniatures. I'm working with David Keg, he did the cover art for Sorcerer City, but he's worked for Blizzard and Riot, worked on Star Wars stuff, so he is uh, insanely talented, and I know it's going to come out absolutely gorgeous. I can also send you guys a, uh, uh, I can send you a, one of the characters you've already made for it, so you can throw it up on the screen. Yeah, awesome. It's gorgeous. And if they want to know more about what you're doing, where would that have to go? So, easiest way is to probably get on our newsletter system off DrewCityGames.com. You can sign up for the newsletter. We don't harass. It's like once a month type of thing. That's what we do. And once every two months is what we do in fact. Yeah, and sometimes it's not even once a month. But, uh, and then also, obviously, Facebook. I live on Facebook, so. Easy to get a hold of and contact if they want. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not too up there where it's like, I can never talk to anybody. Yeah, no, I love engaging everybody, so. And, YouTube, I put stuff on YouTube all the time. Yeah, you like doing reviews and all that kind of stuff. I saw a booming channel. It's got more than mine now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying, uh, we're, we started doing vlogs, and I've really enjoyed the little mini creations of telling stories. Because I'm a creator, I like to create things, so it's like gives me a nice little plug into that world. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time here at PAX yeah. South. I know it's kind of busy here. This game has been packed. This is the first time I've seen the table empty, but we've got a little time to talk about it. The sun so. is a little slower, so it's kind of nice. Yep, yeah. that was a good time to come. I appreciate it once again, James, and I will see you again. Yeah. Right? All right, Absolutely. see you guys Bye. next time.